When the founders set out to build the school, we had one clear objective in mind, to build a school that would set a new standard of excellence for education in Panama, and that would become a reference of excellence in the region. I remember one day last year, I visited with a group of second graders, you know, eight-year-old kids at the Met, and we were talking about the new building, and, and several of them said to me, why do we have to leave? We want to stay here, we love it here. And I thought, wow, that's really powerful. And I, I didn't know how to explain it to them. And then I thought, you know, you guys are, you're eight years old and you're in elementary school and soon you're gonna to go to middle school. And then after that, you'll get older and you're gonna go off to high school and eventually you'll leave this place and go off to college in some other part of the country or the world. And I, I said to them, you know, everything changes. And that this place can always be really special to us and we can always hold it in our hearts but we move on to a, a, a new future and a new place and, and embrace it and, and know that change is what happens to all of us and it's okay and it could be even great and it doesn't change that this place will always be really, really special to us. The Met School for me is like a second family. It's somewhere where I can go, have a nice day, come home and do it all again very, very happily. I think that the move from this building has taught me that once you have your community and you like expand it, it's gonna be a better, bigger, and happier place. It's a mixed feeling. We are feeling sad to leave this building where lots of memories are there. We as parents, uh, seeing our children grow. Uh, at the same time, we are feeling very good that Met has achieved what they had promised. And we are happy to, you know, step into the new building and see how it is. It's, it's going to be a surprise. What I felt when I heard the school was moving was a little bit of sadness because we're like moving to another building and we're leaving these memories behind. However, it also made me feel happy since I've seen how like the Met has grown throughout the, like, the years. And moving to a bigger building means more students, more staff. And so it's just seeing a more like an advancement of the school. So it made me feel happy too. Ever since I remember going to school, it has been in this one. And I could not wrap my mind about changing to a new school on our last year. But as the work started growing and they started showing us pictures, I was getting more excited and more excited every time. Because we were gonna get our own soccer field, swimming pool, uh, gym, a library, huge places to, to rest, a big cafeteria. We were gonna get a lot of things we didn't have in this school, so that helped me and a lot of my peers to get excited to go to the new school. I remember when the Med opened its doors in 2011, and I, I was fortunate enough to be here in Panama at the time and part of this community in that my son was here that first year as a three-year-old. And the Met was really remarkable as a new school. There was just so much energy and so much self-confidence and the whole passion and excellence in all that we do. And I think became a really special school in Panama right off the bat. And for these nine years, I think has been a remarkable school doing wonderful things for kids, a place where people really care about each other and care about the work that we do. Um, and I'm really just so happy to have been part of it for all these years. What made the Met special here at Ciudad del Saber was the history of these buildings and the location, uh, the greenery around it, the, the way we could see the chips go through the canal, being the canal such an important part of the Panamanian history. I think all of those things uh, made the location really special. Being here in the Ciudad del Saber, it's, it's really amazing, to be honest. Like having the canal in the back, you don't see this every day, this is a wonder, and it's really cool. And also having the plaza, like right there, it's also something that not a lot of schools have, and I think it's something really, really cool that, that the school is able to open that for, for us. So here on the backfield, we had championship games and the Canal Cup, soccer and then basketball over at Kiwanis Gym. We had some great field competitions, house competitions, in the pool at Kiwanis, where we had cardboard boat competitions, cannonball competitions. And then here on the field, we had uh, the slip and slide kickball games that were famous. So a lot of good events here. And then in the school building, we had things like the plays, the musicals, our first assemblies, 
uh, first graduation where the seniors walk through the whole school with everybody cheering and then over to the Ateneo for the graduation. So, so many firsts that in our school's history that happened were here and a part of this, this cool building and this cool site. The hallways would always be a good place to be when it was raining in recess because people would just be sitting around the sofas and you could go from conversation to conversation and just interacting with all your friends. The one thing I would love the Met to keep and to carry on to the new building or to wherever we go in the future is that sense of family. We have a saying that nobody's uh, invisible, everybody's family, and that's how we treat everyone. I would love the Met to keep that quality of the sense of family and unity that we have. What defines the Met is how nice people are and how you know everyone and you're nice to everyone and how it's such a safe place. Everyone here is super nice. The community is the best part of the Met. One of the most important things the Met gives is that comfort feeling. Yeah, We want our children to be happy. They should come to school happy, be happy in the school, without any stress, without any worries. Yeah, when, when we receive them in our homes, they should be happy. That is the most important thing. I think that the school will hold on to its spirits, which I think it's the most important thing that the Met has to make it special overall. A building, it's a building, and greenery you can plant. But the spirit of the school, of its staff, of, of the culture that has been created here, I think that I will be moved with the school, and we've seen it throughout the years. As we move, to Green Valley, I feel there's a lot we need to hold on to. Um, the sense of community that we have, our beliefs and values, putting students at the center of everything we do, and keeping that very close community and connection between parents, students, and teachers, and the rest of the administrative staff. I think one thing that made the school special when families came into the school was something intangible and it was this feeling of community. And I think that's really important that the Met continues that sense of community and that they take that to the new campus. I think that's really important. For me, the best thing about the Met is that no one is invisible. Everyone belongs here, everyone has a place. From the student who is better at sports than they are academics, to the student who shines at math and needs help with their writing, to the cafeteria ladies, the security men who help keep our building safe, to every teacher and every support teacher. We're all visible. We all belong here. To rise up means to always be optimistic about the future. You know, we're always dealing with challenges, and whether it's renovating the third and fourth floor and dealing with that situation, um, dealing with the COVID situation, we're always being optimistic, you know, and, and laughing about the stuff that's difficult sometimes and uh, working together. So when you look back, you say, that was all right. We, we bonded together and, and we rose to the occasion to make this successful, learn something, have a good time. I think that's the Met. That's the Met family. The dream and vision of the Met was always to have a purpose built facility. But being in the city of knowledge, soon became our dear home. We were all together in one building, which helped us live our slogan statement of, at the Met, no one is invisible. It was an amazing time. But like families grow and move into bigger homes, so the same is happening with the Met, to move to a bigger facility that will offer more opportunities to its students and community. All the best, Met in this new journey.